show you from Plus the Reader who had a video here. Uh, just how um, secondary, how's the secondary been uh, playing for you the first couple of games and what are your uh, challenges going into this game against the New York Giants? Uh, you know what? The, the, the thing they've done is they've kept working and they keep getting better every week. And that's what I, I, it's why it's so much fun to work with this group because they're, uh, they take a great approach to how they go every day, whether it's in the meetings or on the practice field. Uh, you can see improvement uh, from day to day and from week to week with the group. And so that's really, really encouraging with them. And TJ Green, um, uh, could you tell, discuss uh, you know, how he's been playing? And uh, you know, well, Coach Fee said he played, played some safety, was moving at the corner. Right. And I got some action last week and may get some more this week. Yeah, he's done a great job, and uh, he's a versatile guy. He's a big athlete. Uh, you can obviously see that his physical traits. And then he started out at safety, and then we started giving him some reps uh, during training camp at corner. corner and uh, he's done a great job. He really has, and he's em embraced that uh, change, and he bounces back and forth. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch him get better and uh, understanding really it gives him a great perspective of understanding where everybody is because he did play some, you know, he worked at safety and he works at corner. So it's really uh, neat to see that. I think Dean was talking yesterday and he made the comment that like TJ had earned the, the reps that he got and that there was packages set up for him last Sunday even before AJ got hurt. Like, yep. What did y'all see in that week leading up to kind of warrant that? Well, it's just been his day-to-day -day, uh, preparation. And, you know, he's uh, ever since uh, training camp and even, even OTAs, you've seen him develop, gain more confidence in himself. And so it's really been fun to watch him grow as a player. And, and he's still growing. And so that's what's uh, the neat part about it. What about, you were talking about his build and his body type and how that relates to versatility. Can you kind of explain that a little bit more? Well, he's got really good length, you know, and he has, he has very good long speed. And then he, for a tall guy, I think he has really good short area quickness. Those are always a little bit of a challenge for those guys. And so it's really, uh, you know, he has uh, the, the really good physical traits. And he understands football. Uh, you know, he understands he can be instinctive and he plays instinctively. Uh, and, he's, and he's still growing at, at the game of football from a rep standpoint. So uh, we're really encouraged with him. What is losing AJ? mean for that for that quarterback position well we'll just see how things play out you know i mean we, we it's going to be a next man up mentality and so that's what it is yeah but i mean everybody says next man up right but like obviously aj has certain skills that other guys don't have otherwise he wouldn't be in the position he's in right but it, it is what it is i mean you got to get everybody's got to get ready to play you don't never know how the game's going to shake out you never know how uh, the roster's going to shake out, so everybody uh, gets reps during the week, and you just get them ready to play. Well, so, so what's the difference maybe between AJ and TJ? Uh, AJ has more experience. You know, he's played the position longer. Uh, that, that's a that's a real big one. Um, so, you know, I don't really get into comparisons that way, uh, but I know AJ has, has you know he has he's logged more reps at the corner position. Coach, are you familiar with TJ's story? I mean, we knew him around here. He played at Clemson, went yep. to the Colts, then we kind of lost track of him. Yeah, surfaces here. Yep, yep. He, it's been a, a his story, his journey has been a fascinating one for sure. Uh, it's just for, for since I've been with him, just to see how he's uh, passionate about uh, his job, passionate about football, enjoys being out there with his teammates. It's been really a, a cool thing to see. When I was looking at the secondary, I think when y'all were piecing it together this offseason, there was a part of me that was almost like, this is a hodgepodge of different guys. That, that it's, it was really interesting to see kind of guys like Duran and Eric with AJ and TJ and, and even like Jalen Hawkins and Richard Grant. It was just kind of like a grouping that I was very fascinated by. When you, now that you've had these months of this group together and you know kind of what you want this group to look like, what have you learned about this group and the way that they work together? They work really good together. It, it's really neat to watch them in the meeting room, listen to them talk. They're all very passionate about the game. Uh, they want to be right on every play. And so uh, they, they continue to, to try to be detailed in everything they do. And it's a very good group. Uh, they respect each other. And they're professionals with each other. And it's really neat to see. We were talking to Jalen yesterday. And 
ask, asking the question about like how Duran has impacted his development. Mm -hmm. How do you see that? Well, with him and Eric, uh, Duran and Eric, you get veteran players that have played a lot of professional football. They've been in a lot of different situations. They've been with different teams. And so they bring a great perspective where they have, you know, a lot of knowledge from playing the number of games they've played and just seeing the way things have been done differently at other places and how we do things here and being able to, to match that uh, with what their experiences have been. I know we were talking to Dean, and a big part of his teaching is, you know, not necessarily teaching positions, but teaching defensive concepts. Yes. Um, how do you see that being a benefit for these corners and these safeties particularly? I think it gives them just a great overall perspective of what everybody's job is. And they understand, you know, every call has the pluses and minuses, and they know uh, exactly what all those things are because they have understood what a nickel does, what a, uh, a will linebacker does, uh, what a, uh, a corner does, what the safety does. They have a, a good perspective and understanding of what everybody does. So it's, and they're, and they're still growing with that, which is really neat. Well, you coach, uh, I kind of understand why the, the, you had the six twenty yard uh, uh, games. Y'all were playing back and he was hitting that right in that, that zone. Man. Oh yeah. Um, uh, how do you, uh, do you keep those down or, or it's going to be different matchups in different weeks against We just got to keep improving our technique, where our eyes are. You know what, all those are, are just, we got to continue to understand concepts and then where we need to be in those particular situations. And that's part of the growth. I mean, it, that's the one thing that you can see. Uh, certain games uh, you're going to get this and the other games you're going to get this and then how we grow uh, in, in understanding those concepts. What goes into being a good slot? A good what? Slot. Uh, like a nickel? Yeah. So it's a unique uh, position on the football team because you're involved in the run game. You've got to be able to play corner skills. Uh, you've got to be able to play uh, inside underneath zone drops, and you've got to be able to play some safety skills. So it's a, it's a spot that is going to challenge you in a lot of ways. And so, you know, we're fortunate where we do a good job in the system that we have where everybody gets taught that and that, you know, they will be able to work inside and outside. Now, some guys, uh, you know, we've got Isaiah inside right now. It's been a good transition for him because he is physical. He's a good blitzer. Uh, he does a lot of really good things at that position. What do you see on tape? Like when you're watching tape, you say, okay, I want a guy to be – but slot, like, what do you see? What are you looking for? This is, yeah, that this guy might have the first. That yeah, guy you want to see good short area quickness. You know, you want to be able to see a guy that has instincts. You got me. Uh, you got to have a guy that tackles in, in there, and because he is going to have to fit in the run game. So you got to have a versatile guy, and instincts are a big part of that. Is that something you can like? Is that something you can tell before you throw him into that spot, or is so now when you do it, you're just like, see what <laughs> yeah, try not to do that. That's for sure. Uh, but you, you can see it on tape. Instincts are something that you can watch and you get a feel for. And the good thing is he played some inside last year, so we had a little bit of a feel for it going into it. When, what did, when you watched that last year, what did you see? Were, were there, was there a game? Was there a moment that said, okay, maybe this can be brought into his full-time role? Uh, it was probably just a culmination of just watching all the tape, you know, and seeing what his skill set was and then seeing his instincts inside. Coach, how's Richard Grant coming along uh, uh, that safety, the, the young safety. Oh, he's doing good. He's a young guy. He's learning every day. Uh, you know, he, he's, a, he's a full of energy guy, which is awesome. He brings that to the room. Uh, he's learning every day, and uh, he's going to be, a, he's going to have a long, productive career. He's going to be a good football player. Uh, you know, he's young, though, and, and, and he's learning. And so it, it's pretty awesome to see uh, his growth from day to day and from week to week. And he's having a big impact on us, I know, right now in special teams. How close is he getting on the field with the? You know? Uh, you know, we just keep working with him. He's get. I, I just think all I'm going to say is that he's improving every week and he's improving every day. Awesome. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Have a great day.